billion dollar proposal to bring reliable and affordable internet access to Minnesota is moving forward. Thanks for choosing to be with us tonight. I'm Brock Burgi. U.S. Senator Amy Klobuchar making that announcement today regarding the Minnesota Broadband Infrastructure Plan. First for you tonight at 5, KTDC's Eric Min explains what this means for technology in the Gopher State. This is the work that's going to bring broadband to every corner of our state. In June 2023, the U.S. Department of Commerce awarded more than $650 million in federal funding to bring reliable Internet access to every household in Minnesota. This is going to be a game changer for the whole state, but especially in greater Minnesota. This federal initiative is called the Broadband Equity Access and Deployment Program, or BEAT for short. On Thursday, the Gopher State's proposal for this program received a green light. According to Senator Amy Klobuchar, this means the state can now move from planning to action. The state can move forward with the process to select the providers that will build out and provide the broadband to those last miles. These last miles are especially rural areas situated in challenging geography. Minnesota Department of Employment and Economic Development says more than 200,000 homes and businesses lack adequate internet service. Uh, this is such an important feature of how we do economic development. It's, it's a requirement in this modern era, almost like electricity was in an earlier time. Authorized by the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law, the BEAT program will allocate more than $42 billion as federal grants with the goal of assisting all 50 states to help everyone get connected. Most importantly, it means that they now have access to that more than $650 million that's been allocated to the state. The state now has one year to designate which organizations will receive these federal dollars to help all Minnesotans be linked to the world. In Rochester, Eric Min, KTDC News.